What's up everybody, Jingle12 here, we are back with another video, we are going to be talking today about the Winter Trials, the incredible difficulty of beating them, and how to beat them by my strategy. Guys, please hit the like, comment, subscribe button down below, you don't have to do so, it helps me out a lot, and it helps you too, so if you would be willing, do that, and hit the like button, but, I mean, if you don't like the video, don't hit the like button, it's your choice guys, everything's your choice, you don't have to do anything, but, we are going to be talking about the Great Winter Trials and their insane difficulty and how to beat them, mostly how to beat them. So the Winter Trials takes on average an hour to beat. You start off and you are spawned into a map. You have a high rate of income per wave. You, there are wave events, at least one per wave. I sometimes see two, but I could be wrong in that. And they could be, I believe, five different things. You can have either a map health increase, which is increases your health from, I believe, uh, 100 to 3,000 HP. They could decrease your health from 100 to 3,000 HP. I believe it's either 3,000 or 1,500. It may have been lowered. I cannot guarantee specifics on that. Um, there can be a shielded cube wave, which basically causes all the cubes to be to have double their original HP, and then I believe they are sped up as well, I believe they have faster speed. And then the, f and then there is the tower deletion, it's not the last one, tower deletion which deletes I believe about 8 towers, unless you have less than that then it will delete a smaller percentage, but if you have enough, if you have less, enough towers it will delete 8 of your towers at random. Usually I've noticed around the same time of being placed, so if you place a bunch and then it tower deletion it will take a bunch of ones that you placed at that specific time. So if you place, say, a row of uh, your C batteries and then it deletes uh, towers, it'll take like that row of C batteries and it won't take anything else. So I've noticed it sticks around at the same time point of placement. And the uh, other, th there was one other, and it's cube health decrease. And what that does is it takes, I believe, about a fifth or a fourth, I think it's actually a fourth of a cube's HP and it kills it. So a cube with 200 HP now has 150. It could be a fifth though, I'm not totally sure, but it's one of the two. Moving on, now that I have described the game mode, you have 100 waves to beat. Wave 100 is the most difficult. I'll be speaking of two cubes that you may not have heard before. Okay, three actually. I will be talking about uh, the... Actually, four. I'm sorry. I, five, actually. I'm sorry. I'm like thinking them off the bat. You're going to have your overcharge, your unstable cubes. These things explode. They're incredibly fast, difficult to de destroy, and can blow up and deal damage uh, to your towers, destroy towers. There are the TNT cube bosses, which are basically TNT cubes with a much larger range of explosion and a much larger HP. Very difficult to kill, very difficult to prevent from de dealing damage to your towers. Uh, the third cube that I will be talking about is the nuclear cube. This this cube is incredibly healthy. It has got a ton of HP and if it explodes it usually destroys a good fourth or more of your map depending on its location. It is massive and it does a ton of damage if it blows. You do not want this this cube to blow up. You could lose the game, uh, very especially if it's in a spot where it takes a good three to four raws. You're most likely done. And then finally, actually not finally, there's the Thanos cube, which you may know of this cube, but if you do not, it is a cube themed after the um, character from the Avengers named Thanos. He has an Infinity Gauntlet, and whenever he snapped in the movie, he wiped out 50% of the world population. Well, actually, the universe population in the movie. But in this game, it, he takes 50% of your towers and wipes them off the map. Now, however, there is a way to break that, and we will be discussing that in this video. And finally, there is the Blue Ice Cube, which is the boss cube of the game. It is the most difficult cube to defeat. It is very fast, it has a large amount of HP, but now that we've gone through all of those cubes, let's get right into the strategy of beating the Winter Trials. As you spawn in, the first thing you're going to see is either the lobby or the map, depending on your load speed and this load speed of your partner. 
whenever you jump in, you should immediately begin placing your factories. As you see, I have my inventory. That is a good inventory to have for both players. If you do not have the dead ice, you can switch that with something else to your choice. Just make sure it's effective and it does not be destroyed by the winter storm. There are some towers that can be destroyed. I do not know the exact list. Place your factories in the way that we place them below and then place your two enhancers. Once you have done this, go ahead and save up cash and upgrade your factories when possible. Now one player needs to move on and go and place sea batteries in lines on the water. Now make sure this player leaves space for later because they're going to need to place tombs along the spawn line. And the spawn line is the side that the cubes spawn on. You've got two sides. Actually, you've got four lines that have spawn cubes. You have eight lines in total. While that person is placing the C batteries, and do not place too many as well, you don't want to waste too much cash, have the person, other person save their money for a, a temple in the center. Also, if you have that ice, I would suggest placing that in the middle as well. And whenever you can afford it, place your enhancer with your third enhancer with that temple. Continue to upgrade factories, make those your priority, save for your factories at some point, especially whenever they reach level 5 and level 4. Those are expensive and you may not have enough money for them if you do not save up. Make sure you're upgrading them as soon as possible, they are very important to your game. Continue with this until your factories are mostly maxed out and hit. You don't have to have them all upgraded, but you need to at least have them hit with all most of your factories at their final level 4 and maxed out on hits. Then go ahead and sell your enhancers. You can upgrade them as well whenever they become upgradable, I would suggest doing that. Sell those enhancers, move them on your temple. Make sure you're upgrading your temple as well. Make sure, but then after you, the temple is your priority, factories are second priority here. Uh, excluding the very beginning, you want your factories upgraded as quickly as pos possible within the first five waves. Once you reach around wave 25, wave 26, you should have about enough money to place yourself three orbitals and place them as shown here in this positioning and place a campfire and then take one enhancer off of your temple and place it with the OS. That is, yeah, is that right? And then let those continue to be upgraded make sure you're monitoring those and letting those be upgraded the person that is spamming needs to continue their spamming but they can also place some other towers in the middle if you have other towers to spam just do not waste space i would actually not suggest placing any rail mini guns until later in the game just conserve that money for later whenever you actually have an excess of it you are going to need money actually at wave 30 because that is the point where you place your three tombs each player needs to place three tombs. It is the best way, in my opinion, to uh, share the burden of those towers and their expenses. One player places three, the other player places, places three. I can't speak today. And with those three towers, with those six towers in place, they should all be set too strong. On wave 30, an infinity cube spawns. The three that you place, one of the players needs to place those three on the side of the infinity cube spawn so they can get the hits. The other player needs to place it on the other side of the map, up on the other water bed opposite of that side. So, as you guys can hopefully see, if not, then I didn't get a good view of it, They're, they are set completely opposite of one another. Um, once your temple has reached level 4 and has its all of its hits, go ahead and sell your enhancers, move them to your OS. This is the point when you're going to need to begin placing your miniguns and saving cash. Now you can either do this where the two, temple person can place miniguns or the spam person can place miniguns. Spam is the person who places the C batteries. Either one can do it depending on your affordability. Just make sure you get those placed down before you max out that raw. You should make sure that you upgrade your OS's as they become available for upgrading. Have the money to do so. At wave 45, you will have a spam of sun cubes, and it'll be a spam of sun cubes. Try to kill those off with your OS's. That's going to be the way that you kill those sun cubes. You need to have at least, at least three maxed OS, not maxed, I'm sorry, three level four OS's. You may have level, you may have more, you may have less, but and even with three, I cannot guarantee you will kill them. I repeat also, none of this is guaranteed. If that wave is shielded, you are going to need more than three though. 
try to uh, get your raw maxed out before wave 50 because at wave 50 the demon cubes spawn and with the demon cubes you cannot kill all of them without your raw max and make sure you have your mini guns placed i would suggest having around 24 to 20 to 30 mini guns placed around the raw to max it out i do not know the exact numbers of mini guns required with the new buff but i believe it is less than what it was previously so you don't have to have as many thankfully once your Ra is maxed out, the person who places temples needs to go ahead and place two more temples on one wing, one of the four wings, as I'm saying. One wing houses your OSs, one wing houses your factories. The next two wings are going to be used for your temples. Place two temples in the positioning that I have shown you. Make sure they will not sacrifice each other or the central Ra. Doing so can hurt and possibly end your game because of your lack of overall damage and it is very good to be avoided as you want 5 raws obviously especially if you get a shielded wave 100 which we'll be discussing later at the very end of this video. Whenever you max out at least one of your OS's and have the other ones close or already at the level being able to be maxed out so all of your enhancers they don't all have to be maxed out ready to be upgraded but have at least some of them at least one to two. It, at minimum one have maxed out. I would suggest have one. The others should be close on, and if they aren't close, then I would suggest continuing to upgrade them. But then again, this is all by your decision, a reminder, um, that this is all needs to be flexible by your opinion and your need for each game. Moving on, you should get your temples surrounded by your miniguns and enhance each and every one of them. Make sure that they are being enhanced consistently and check your them every time up that a tower deletion occurs to make sure that you have still retain your enhancers. I have had a situation before where we had our enhancers deleted by a tower deletion and we had fallen behind because the temple was not being upgraded. So make sure you guys get that covered and watch over that. Continuing on from this, you will continue to get your temples upgraded and maxed out. Make sure you have your rail guns around your temple to, so it can get its damage. Continue this until around wave 98 or until you've maxed out all your raws. Honestly, I would suggest maxing out all your raws, but around wave 98 to 100, I would suggest switching up your enhancers to your dead ices if you have them available. However, if you do not, just max out your raw if you haven't already. And then, if you have still have all your raws maxed out, max out your other OS. However, if I said this earlier, I don't remember. If you said if you had have not already maxed out your OS, uh, final OS, you have one extra that you should not have been able to max out at this point. Go ahead and get that thing maxed out. If you haven't maxed out, then good. Then make sure, but just make sure you've got them all maxed out too. Um, at this point, there really isn't that much to do except to continue to replace towers that are destroyed by uh, unstable cubes, TNT cubes, and tower deletion wave events. Uh, at wave 96 and 97, you need to max out your tombs, make sure they're all set to strong, which they should automatically be, and then let them kill off the nuclear cubes. This is especially important if it is shielded. They are going to definitely need to kill off those uh, nuclear cubes. And if it is shielded, I would almost suggest setting a raw to strong as well, just so it can kill them off. Once you have killed the nuclear cubes you can go ahead and immediately you need to immediately as soon as those nuclear cubes are done and the wave of wave is over make sure the wave is over as well because it's important set your tombs to first set the tombs to first as soon as the wave is over and then grab the central raw whoever owns it the one in the middle or if you don't have that one left still there another one that is near the center and set it to last because you're going to be killing off the wizard cubes that are about to spawn and heal the thanos cube that spawns on wave 99 
The only thing I believe that can be shielded on this wave is the Wizard Cubes. Thanos cannot be shielded as he spawns too early for the wave event to affect him. Once you have killed the Thanos Cube, which will happen after he snaps his fingers, he will lose a majority of his health, the screen will go white for a second, the towers still fire, but whenever you return, unless you killed him insanely fast, he should, there should be particles all around the map on different towers that were taken for the sack, for the uh, snapping. However, if you killed him quick enough, those towers will remain as they are and they will not be destroyed. If you did not kill him quick enough, then some towers will disappear. About 50% of your towers will disappear and, and turn into cash on the ground. If Thanos does manage to succeed in snapping, most likely if you did if you lost less than two Raws, two Raws if you lost three Raws, you may survive. I can't guarantee anything if you have two Raws. If you have three left, you may survive unless the, it's shielded. Wave 100 is shielded. If you have if you lost all your tombs and all your OSs, you're probably done. Um, which is highly unlikely, but there are Sun cube bosses, you're gonna need at least some some damage for the sun cubes. And but you're going that'll be at the very end. You're gonna have to have some sort of damage for sun cubes. And I'll let you guys hopefully you already have it. If you for some reason lost it, I can't really help you just try your best. I at that point it's up to you how to do it. I don't know how to advise you if you don't have any sun cube damage and you're about and you're on wave 100. Just before the Rubik's is spawned, those unstable cubes begin spawning in spams and loads. And once that happens, set every single one of your tombs to last. And be ready, because that nuke is going to spawn, and you're going to need to kill it quick enough before it explodes. I would also suggest setting a rod to last, especially if it's a shielded, especially if it's shielded, because you're going to have to kill off that nuclear cube fast, or else it'll blow up. Especially if it's shielded, especially. Once that nuclear cube is gone, it should spawn right after the Rubik's. Is. You should go ahead, reset your uh, tower targeting to their normal tombs at strong raw at first and kill off the Rubik's and then let the game proceed as normal. At this point, you have most likely won. Let the towers kill off the blue, the blue ice cube uh, whenever it reaches there and just relax and let yourself enjoy your win because you have won the Winter Trials. Congratulations. Now you may have gotten the dad ice if you haven't. You didn't, then just go again. You have a 50% chance of getting it. If you got the Frost Whale, I congratulate you on your luck. That is highly lucky. You, you got a 1 in 40 percent, 1 in 40 chance of getting that tower. You got very lucky there. That is the Winter Trials. Um, guys, thank you so much for watching this video with me, Jingle 12, as we went over the strategy to beating the Winter Trials. Guys, I hope you did enjoy. Make sure to like and subscribe button down below. Don't have to do so, but it helps me out a lot. Other than that, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.